In this session, let's have a look at how to create a pivot table. Pivot tables allow us to extract meaningful information from large data sets. In our example, we have 200 entries and six different columns. It might be rather hard to get any insights from this data just by looking at it. So let's insert a pivot table. Let's open the Insert tab and click Pivot Table. We need to check if the data range that Excel has automatically selected is correct. It looks correct in our example. Then we need to specify the location of our pivot table. By default, it is a new worksheet. And let's keep it like this. At first, our table is empty. We need to define it by dragging different fields to the appropriate area. For example, let's have our items as rows of the table. Then the values will be the amount. As you can see, Excel has just made a table showing the total sales of each item. Then let's add our customers as a filter. It will allow us to check sales to a particular customer. It's also possible to sort data in the pivot table. Let's click any cell inside the sum of amount column. Then let's right click and click sort. Suppose we want to see the largest values first. And that's it, we've sorted our table. We've added the customer field to the filters area. And so we can filter this table by customers. In this drop down list, we can select the customer of our interest. And then we will see sales to this specific customer only. By default, Excel summarizes your data by either summing or counting the items. To change the type of calculation that you want to use, we can right-click the Sum of Amount column and select Value Field Settings. Now we can choose the type of calculation we want to use. For example, let's choose Count. Now Excel displays the total number of sales for each particular item. In total, we have 200 sales, which exactly matches the number of rows in our original table. So far, we've been working with a one-dimensional pivot table. We've had the column area empty. Let's see how we can have a two-dimensional table. For example, let's move the customer field from the filters area to the columns area. Now we've got a breakdown of sales by a particular customer. We can also add additional filters to the two-dimensional table. For example, we can add the category filter and then check only sales of a particular category. We've just learned how to create a pivot table in Excel.